Alrighty, let's look at this Alex problem together. It falls under the topic, balancing chemical equations with interfering coefficients. The first thing I would do for this problem is to rewrite this compound in a simpler form. So there's ones on all these carbons that are understood. So I know I have one, two, three carbons. So I'll write this as C3, and then I have three hydrogens plus two hydrogens plus three hydrogens to give a total of eight hydrogens. So that's a lot neater for me to look at. Let me rewrite the rest of the problem. All right, at this point, I want to start balancing my carbons. My big tip here, this is a combustion reaction. So when I go to balance combustion reactions, I always leave oxygen till last. The reason why I do this is because I know that if I put a coefficient out here, it's not going to mess up the rest of my work. However, if I change any of the other coefficients, it's going to impact more than one atom or more than one element. So I want to keep this O2 till the end. That's going to be the last coefficient I put in once I figure out everything else. Let me start with carbons. So on this side, I have three carbons. So I'll put a three in front of the carbon dioxide. When I put the coefficient out front, that gets distributed to everything inside. So now on this side, I have three carbons and six oxygens from that carbon dioxide. Let me do the hydrogen next. So looking at my fuel, I have eight hydrogens and then I have water over here. So if I put a four in front of that water, that's going to give me the eight hydrogens that I need on this side. Now I have eight hydrogens and four oxygens. Adding up all the oxygens on this side gives me a total of 10 oxygens. When I go back to this side, I notice that this is coming in pairs of two. It's diatomic. So if I put a five out here, five times two, will give me the 10 oxygens that I need. So I'm going to leave this as a coefficient of one. 